Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to build a railroad crossing sign. And the purpose for this is uh, just for something to, to show in my uh, uh, railroad room, man cave, whatever. Uh, just a little display piece. It's not going to be perfect. And uh, I also may use it for uh, my camper, my teardrop. Uh, sorry for the cat um, that I take out and display kind of like a totem pole you know I'm gonna theme the the camper in railroad so uh, show you the steps on doing it um, I already built the the actual sign part of it it's not finished I gotta redo the redo the lettering and stuff but it's just a couple of one by fours cut in half and I just took some stencils, uh, wrote out the letters, and there you go. So that part is almost done. So I got on eBay and uh, looked around, tried to find some uh, flashing lights. And uh, I came up with uh, these right here. They're uh, warning lights. Uh, they're about three inches around, I'm guessing. And they're supposed to strobe. And uh, if anyone's interested in these, uh, just leave a message and uh, I will uh, give you an item number on eBay. He does have more for sale. But uh, it's a little red light, it's supposed to blink. So um, basically what I'm gonna do, I got two of them and I will mount them down below and make a little sign. I already kind of drawn out The trim form, and I'll put a you know leave a leave it connected on the top, and have the cross cross section there, and I'll put a post going up and down to mount it all together. For the base, uh, I'll probably make it detachable, so if I want to hang it on the wall, I can just put this on the wall. Then if I want to go stand it like a totem pole for my camper. I would just slip it into the the, the, the the base. So let me get started and I'll get back with you, all right? Sorry, newfangled technology here. Just remember how to shut this thing off. All right, so I got my hole saw and I uh, cut two holes. They were just a tad bit too small. So I went back with my uh, Dremel with the sanding bit kind of reamed them out a little bit and uh, these will sit in there just like that so now I need to take my uh, jigsaw and I'm just gonna make a outside circle about an inch around each one leaving about an inch of board up here on the top to support it from the side so let me get that done and I'll get back with you All right, so here's my cutout. Kind of rounded over this top a little bit just to give it a little bit more shape. It's not perfect, but for the whimsical thing I'm doing, I think it'll work out just fine. So now I'm going to get a bit of a little coat of paint. I'm uh, just going to paint it black, some flat back uh, primer I have, and I'll be back with you. So, be back in a minute. All right, we're back. Got my pieces all painted. Let's do a little bit of assembly here. Got me a post. So anyone who's asking, the whole uh, whole saw size that I use is 76 millimeter. It's just a hair bit too small. But I went over it with a, my Dremel with a sanding disc, and it didn't take much to get it where I needed it to be. So basically, just a real quick assembly, nothing much to it. Should pre-drill these holes, 
this pine will probably crack. But it's mine. Crack to crack. is in. We're in a good position for our a little crooked. Just that a little bit. I need to go up a little bit. It's even worse. A little embarrassing, guys. That looks pretty good right there. Try right, this again. not too bad. Good enough for government work. All right. I need a better space to be doing my work here. But all I got is a kitchen table. So that's what I'm using. All right. in there. And there you go. Put our lights in. screws I had laying around the house. So anyone who's asking, I got these off of eBay. I think they were uh, about $32 for the pair shipped. I'm going to have to sand this hole a little bit, just a little bit more. Let me get back to you. All right, got that taken care of. Find a couple more screws here.
crack my board just a little bit there, but oh well, Put some glue on that will be good. All right, uh, let me get this wired up. I'll glue that piece real quick, fix that, and uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right, uh, I got everything put together and I got it wired up a little bit temporarily right now. I need to get some better type of connectors. But uh, here's what I came up with. So I see, I have it sitting on the stool to get it up so you can see it in the camera. But uh, this is it. I haven't plugged it in yet, so let's see if I uh, burn the house down. Heck yeah, that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Give me a like and uh, subscribe. Something simple. Anyone can build this. Uh, these lights are about you know, a couple bucks a piece. They're not too expensive. Like I said earlier, I, I think they were like $14 a piece. $28 free shipping on eBay. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look great. Uh, put it up in the hobby room. Then uh, if I out going camping, I'll set it up beside the camper, and yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Build your one yourself. Thank, thank you guys. Talk to you soon.